We get set for Hawaii and Illinois, and the Thrifty Car Rental Holiday Bowl is next. So the 15th Thrifty Car Rental Holiday Bowl set to get underway from San Diego. High kick, Fagan from the nine. Spins across the 20 to the 23-yard line. As we take a look at the Fighting Illini offense, Jason Verdusco, seventh all-time in Big Ten passing with Boyer and Fagan. Up front, John Wright, his leading receiver, 40 catches. Jim Klein and Dave Olson join the receiving core. Brad Hopkins, this is the fifth bowl game he's been to, a fifth-year senior and an All-American candidate. Big ball foul, personal foul on the kicking team. Automatic first down. So a break for Illinois. Better field position working from the 38-yard line. And Verduzco wants to throw on first down and fires it complete to right, his favorite receiver. And his forward progress should get him about 10 and a half yards. Defensively for the Rainbows of Hawaii, their leader, a senior, Ma'a Tanavasa, with Baumui and Tagawai up front in the three-man set. Alipule, Williams, Randall, and the bandit back is Santiago. Kind of a combination defensive back linebacker. The secondary, Henderson, Odom, Green, and Brian Addison, who leads the team with four interceptions. One play and one first down, Illinois, at the 49-yard line. Steve Fagan. Got about three. I think they started off well. Both guys gave a little bit. Fagan on a pitch on second and seven, and boy, did he get tagged. Let's see who tackles Illinois on third and four. Produsco. In the middle, almost intercepted by Santiago. He got a hand on it. And they just do snap it. I thought Illinois was going to take the five-yard penalty. Branch. Gutsy catch at the eight-yard line. But he does something with it. Got about 10 on the return. Boy, that let's take a look at the Rainbow's offense. Travis Sims, almost 1,500 yards, six in the country in rushing. Michael Carter is the quarterback. They don't throw often when they do. It's Derek Branch, who you just saw on the, the uh, punt return. 25 catches on the year. But Wheat Gordon and Kale Oha join him. In the spread offense, Fonseca, the left tackle, is a good one. Pale, Omoso, Violetti, and McGill join him. And it's first down, Hawaii. Just inside their own 19-yard line. Immediately, it's going to be a first down, and then some. Eddie Kealoha at the Fighting Illini defense, anchored by Eric Fogey, the only senior starter on that front wall with Cole and Kofer. The linebacking core, we've already mentioned him. Dana Howard led the club with 138 tackles. Holosek, Hardy, and Leach join him. And in the secondary, the man that pulls it all together is Jeff Artisan. His leadership holds that defensive secondary together. Here's the pitch. They want to throw on the option. Jasper going deep. Man out there, almost intercepted. You said we might see a little hoop de do it. Second down at 10. Simeon Rice has checked in defensively for Illinois. Unbalanced line again. Now they switch into a double wing setup. Carter keeps it. And got about five. It'll Get the first down. They got it near the 40. Second before the man went in motion. That's why they got the illegal procedure. And now they'll have to earn it on third and ten. Carter. Deep sideline. Intercepted. Bill Mel Johnson's got it. The first turnover of the ball game. On its own 43 yard line. Two yard. Second down and eight, Illinois, with a four wide receiver group for Verduzco. Draw play, Boyer going nowhere. Not enough speed in the back. Third down, nine. See if they can get pressure on Verduzco. Pressure. Fagan with a catch, but a sure tackle made at midfield. Well, he's got all of this one. 
This baby's going all the way to SeaWorld. Yeah, well, they, they have two punters. They need a third now. They need an intermediate punter. Yeah. First down, Rainbows from their own 20-yard line. Sims, six yards quickly. And you see the no huddle for Hawaii. They were going to do with this football game. Second and four. Sims again. He's got the first down. 31-yard line of first down. Unbalanced left. And Carter keeps it left side. And he got about five. Hawaii at its own 37-yard line. See, check with me. Everybody's listening. Pitch read beautifully by Ty Washington. No matter how well you're on the option, you don't like to find yourself third and nine. Carter, a straight drop. Incomplete over the middle. Wilfers. Not a good punt. And not necessarily a great bounce, but it does roll its way to the 27 yard line. John Wright's got his second catch. He got nine at second down in the yard. Boyer sneaks his way across the 40 to the 41-yard line where Brian Addison first down, Illinois. There's the play action this time. Verduzco in a little bit of trouble. And he got it over the middle to Fagan. Wow. That's a tough throw with... Play. Boyer hurdles his way across midfield. He's got a first down. Inside the Hawaii 47. First down, Illinois. Fagan now to the 44 yard line. He got Produsco. Plenty of time. Sideline complete. The first down to Jasper Strong, who just checked in. Three straight first downs for Illinois. This time just inside the Hawaii 30. Back to Boyer on the ground. And another first down as he takes Santiago and the rest of the... So inside the 20 for Illinois. Eighth play of the drive. Right in motion. A counter to Boyer. To the 14-yard line. The kids from Hawaii have been wearing parkas. It's been a strange look in San Diego. Second and six. Verdusco. So our congratulations to John for his touchdown catch and what he's doing with the books. 7-0 Illinois. Derek Branch. Out near the 28 before he swarmed under. First down away from the 29. Sims got hit as soon as he touched the ball. 7-0 here, Illinois in front. With just under two minutes to go, first quarter. Carter got it at 23 tackles against Michigan State. Third down and four. Carter kept it, and he's dropped after a pickup of about a yard. He'll hit this one a mile in the air. Volker takes it at the 22. And kept his balance to get about five on the return. First down, Illinois. Verduzco, the play action again, deep middle, got it to climb. First down, and a pickup of 16 from the 44-yard line. First down, Illini. Fagan inside, a tough run out near midfield. And a Jason Verduzco touchdown pass has got Illinois out in front at the end of one. The fighting Illini with a 7-0 lead over the Rainbows of Hawaii. Second down at five on the first play of the second quarter. Verduzco had plenty of time, missed his tight end for a long five. Their 40% conversion on third down this year. Strong and right, the wide receivers. 
Strong's got it. First down at the 41-yard line. Strong did it. Verdusco with a little option of his own to Fagan. Fagan paid the price after getting about two yards. On second and nine, Verdusco on a slant to Strong, who's become a big part of the offense so far tonight. Illinois continued to show great balance. You can't get it any better than that. Third down at five. Fagan, I think, was blocked by the umpire. Didn't see the ball coming. Absolutely. His largest kicker, Chris Richardson, in. This attempt from 52, his career long, you see, is 10 yards behind that. He put everything he had into it and came up short to the right. And Sims on first down across the 40. Travis said he's made three cuts all year and it always shocks his teammates. <laughs> Straight ahead again and close to a first down but looks to be about a half yard shot. They give different reasons to the quarterback. Third down and short, less than a yard to go for Hawaii and they've got it with Sims not near the 48. They want to run option ball, they have to establish the fullback. Illinois had it about four more minutes and they lead by a touchdown and on the counter option, nice pitch late and out of bounds at the 45-yard line to the slot back position from wide receiver. Showed a little bit of both tendencies on that run. Carter didn't get the first down. Got the rushing yards almost dead even in this one. It's been the passing of Verduzco that's been the difference. Carter's got open field. And he rolls his way down inside the 25. Saved himself about a half second with that head pick That's you right. talked about, though. Sims got inside the 20. Second and five. May have been some motion at the snap. No flags. And Sims meets Howard, but not before he gets a first down. Illinois thinking about a blitz. Keeps him down to the seven. <laughs> Second down and four at the seven-yard line. Great-looking drive, four minutes and 59 yards. Eleventh play coming up, and it's a big one. Third down and four. Sims, touchdown! First half, Hawaii's on the board, and we're even in San Diego. That's the guy that capped the 65-yard drive to tie the score. Jim Klein from the goal line, and he's going to have to down it. Touchback. I didn't get a visa in my fifth year in the pro. Maybe it was Travis's dad, huh? <laughs> First and ten. Verdusco wants to throw a screen. Got it to Kevin Jackson. Kevin Jackson makes good for about eight yards. Seven and a half minutes to go first half. Seven, seven. And the give to Boyer, and I don't think he got it. Got a yard, but I don't think he got the two. Third and a yard, Illinois. And they got the yard. So he has carried the ball enough, and enough there for the first down. Screen again. And too high for Jackson. Right and strong, the wide receivers for Verduzco. He goes to his tight end, though, complete to the 36 to Craig Custer. That catch only netted about three, though. It's third down and seven. Here comes some pressure on Verduzco. John Wright made a great catch. He looks to be maybe a half yard short of the first down. From the 43-yard line, first down, a line out. Tie game just over five minutes in the first half. Jackson gets it across the 45 to the 46. Second down and seven for the 46. Verduzco, the deep drop and the deep ball to Wright. Oh, broken up nicely. I would say overall, they, they do have a lack of speed in their specialist players. 
Ninth play of the Illinois drive, third and seven. The quick screen to the wide receiver to right, and he's got a first down. Play fake. Time for Verduzco, and he delivers the fourth catch of the night for Jasper Strong. Another 12-yard pickup, but he's got four for 43 already tonight. End around, Klein with Verduzco blocking. He got the corner, and he's still on his feet. He got a first down. And it's first down, Illinois. Tie game, three and a half to play, first half. Verduzco fires to right. First and goal, Illinois. 16 yards that time. First and goal with the five. Full house backfield for the Illini. Verduzco had three guys he wanted to hand it to, and everybody went a different direction. But he may do improvise. I don't think we'll see it from Jason. Close, but not quite. For Darren Boyer. They need one more, though. 15th play of the march. Third and goal. And Verdisco goes down. They did run the option. Lewis Randall. John Wright to hold. Richardson doesn't miss inside 35 yards all year. And he connects again. So a long Illinois drive. They wanted a touchdown. Obviously, they have to settle for three. And it's 10-7 Illini. Hey, you know what? If Illinois was 10 and 2, they'd definitely be up in the top 15 10. High short kick. It'll be taken by one of the up men. And out to the 35 yard line. They really only have to get to the 43 yard line. They don't have that far to go. Straight drop for Carter. Waits until the last instant. Try to go to Derek Branch. And he got planted as they've thrown it five times. They'll try to throw it again on second and 10. Third down at 10, Hawaii, with 57 seconds left in the half. He waits and finally delivered, and he got a first down. Brian Gordon made the catch. Now they only need about 10 or 15 yards to give their field goal kicker a chance, and they might have it right here. Nope, one hopper. Starting to get that right leg loosened. They have two timeouts. They can run the football. Instead, they go to the air, and they're going to be close to another first down. In fact, they'll have it at the 40-yard line. Swing is the line I can hold here. It's another Hawaii first down, though, at the 40. Now, that one shouldn't have been thrown. And Phil Mel Johnson's got his second interception of the night. One too many passes, I think, for the rainbow. 19 seconds left. Illinois is going to put it up anyway. Klein's got it! To the 43-yard line. And Verduzco will work from the gun for the first time tonight. And then the deep drop, and then the sack. Well, he threw it. Incomplete. Tried to save the play by Can't throwing it away. On the offense. Lost it down. Andrew Tolina was the guy that got the pressure. <laughs> Illinois is going to take a knee. And Hawaii saw a chance to tie, go by the boards with a Phil Mel Johnson interception, his second of the night. So the Fighting Illini of the Big Ten lead the WAC champion Rainbows of Hawaii in intermission. 10-7, our halftime score as we take it to Sports Center that's coming up next. We're about set to find out. Richardson to kick. He got all of this one. Derek Branch just watches it go over his shoulder. And quickly, without a huddle, Illinois does get lined up. First down, Hawaii. Carter and a late pitch. Got the corner. And a lot more for Eddie Kealoha. It's 20 yards for Kealoha. Out to the 40-yard line. This time the left side, and it's Travis Sims who got about four. And he's playing one year later. Second and five, Sims again. He's going to be close to a first down. Looks to be a little bit short. 
Third down, less than one. Sims got the first down, keeps his footing. And he barely rumbles his way. Just inside the Illinois 42-yard line. 10 to 7, Illinois in front. Carter in trouble. Can't make the late pitch. Carter changing things up at the line. Carter again does it. Picks the ball is loose. And Jasper, the last man to touch it. There's Cofer, the biggest Illinois player at 6-7, digging in on third down and long. Third and 11. Carter fires. Got it. Complete inside the 30. And a first down, Hawaii. Good throw by Carter. Carter again doesn't pitch. And again, Leach makes a nice play. Second down and nine, Rainbow. Unbalanced left. That's the way they go with it. And Carter on a late pitch to Gordon. To the 22-yard line. Third down, three. Tenth play of the Hawaii drive. Their biggest third down conversion situation of the night. And Carter's got it for him to the 16-yard line. The rainbow's perfect on this drive on their third down conversions. Three for three. And now a first down at the 17. Travis Sims to the four. First and goal for the Rainbows just outside the Illinois four. Sims to the one. Sims behind Carter. Second and goal. Is it a touchdown? It is. and one pass on that drive and Sims for the second time tonight. And with nine minutes, 29 seconds remaining third quarter for the first time tonight, the Rainbows of Hawaii, thanks to that top fullback, Travis Sims, are out in front by four. He loved the kick, big and back deep. Fagan at the eight-yard line. Finds an opening out to the 30. And let's see if they go to the air right away. First time they've trailed tonight. Custer, the tight end in motion. Has went draw to Boyer. He got about four before he got knocked out of bounds. Second and four. It looked like Verduzco wanted to play fake to somebody, and now he scrambles for his life. Threw short and got it back to the line of scrimmage to Dave Olson. The third down and two. Two tight ends set for Illinois. Blitz. And it works. It definitely works. a good bounce, a real good bounce. All the way down to the 10-yard line. This is the worst starting field position of the night for Hawaii. Carter drops back and throws, and his receiver never turned around. Second and 10. Sims spins out for maybe three. Carter is 4 of 11, and he's thrown two interceptions. So be careful with it here. He keeps it and pitches late. And a first down. Gordon got it out to the 30-yard line. Gordon, four carries for 26 yards on the night. Now it's Sims, and he runs smack dab into Eric Bogey. Second down, a long eight. Hawaii with a four-point lead with six minutes left, third quarter. Complete intended for Ivan Jasper. They've got another one here. Third down, nine. Completes it. And a first down. Well, wait a minute. Now, the umpire. 
And it is a first down, our referee said. So the completion good out to the 40-yard line. First down to Rainbows. And now on the spread option, Carter keeps it for five. A terrible field position. Now it's out to the 45, or it's second and five. There's how you go from being three down to four up and in your opponent's territory. Eight first downs for Hawaii, Illinois without one. This is Travis Sims, 10th play of the Rainbow Drive. Sims again. Short of the first down by about a yard. That works. Third down, two. Carter, oh, short. Jason Elam is a great long-distance kicker. They're going to ask a 49-yarder of him here. It's a fake. And it is going to be, I think, short of the first down. It's going to go according to the spot. Boy, this one's close. It's going to be real close. Carl <laughs> Riddle, just because I don't want to agree with you. He got it. Boy, he got great eyes. Despite the fact he spends all his time on defense. 60-yard drive so far. Another impressive one for Hawaii. They go back to their bread and butter guy. Sims. Second down, seven. Carter backs up the throw. In and out of the hands of his intended receiver. Another third down situation for the Rainbows with 112 left third quarter. That's a dangerous flare pass out there. Incomplete. 397 career points. This would put him at the even 400 mark. And he has got it. He's set to kick off. Steve Fagan deep. His kicks have been high, but relatively short tonight. Fagan drops it at the eight and covers it right there. Jackson, who takes it across the 15-yard line. Yeah. Nice the Buccaneers, and even the Chargers. He might already be on his own field. Guys? Darren Boyer takes it. He's going to be short of the first down, and I will apologize. They've only had about five snaps on offense. They're going to have to make up ground now. They trail by seven at the end of three. Jack Murphy Stadium, San Diego, where Illinois trails by a touchdown, and Verduzco on third and one gets the first down out to the 20-yard line. Wins, and you've done your work. Back, Chris Smeela, the defensive coordinator for the Rainbow to his troops who face Illinois' second and eight. Verduzco completes it short of the first down to his tight end, Craig Custer. A running play call, but we'll find out third and one. Play action, Verduzco first down. Smart play that time. Now they want to go back to the air. It is almost intercepted. Zach Odom got his hands on it. God, it was a great play. Really well. Second and ten. Four receivers. They want to throw double touch to right. Right wants to throw back to Verduzco, and Verduzco might want to throw, but he can't handle it. He should pick it up. It could be a lateral. Well, might be a touchdown. Daryl Green, they're going to blow it dead. They're going to bring it back. Daryl Green thinks he's got six, but our referee says that it's going to be down at the 22-yard line, but it may indeed be the Hawaii ball. I think that's the signal we got. Dead passes, the rule, backward passes. The defense cannot advance a backward pass. First down, Hawaii. That's a tight problem. He has the ball on the 30. He backs up now. He's on the 28-yard line, and that ball goes backwards. Yes, that was a lot. There was no doubt about a great call by the referee. Sure was a great call. Second down and eight. Carter pitches. Eddie Kaloha to the 15-yard line. Third down, three.
receives this penalty. The failure to notify the officials of the fumble rescue play. This team lost the round. You heard it. They have to tell the player, the guard has to tell the official that they're running a trick play on the fumble rescue right there for a 38-yard field goal attempt to try to make it a 10-point Hawaii lead. Got another one. So the Rainbows don't get seven, but number seven gets three more. With 11-19 to go, the Rainbows have stretched their cushion to ten points. Crowd really getting into it right now for the Rainbows. Fagan at the one. to the 25-yard line. The Big Ten is down 10. And number 10 is in a little trouble again. Across the middle, Olsen is tight end. And Olsen may have a first down. But they still have to score two, touch two touchdowns to win. Or a touchdown and a field goal with a two-point play. Draw play to Fagan. He's got a first down and he's into rainbow territory. Pick up of about 14. Back to Brad for just a second. We'll be right back to you. Uh, first down, Verdusco, they are going to let him throw. Play action going deep, John Wright. And it's intercepted by Irvin. Zach Odom going the other way for Hawaii. Giving it back to the rainbow offense at the 24-yard line. And now Sims finds an opening off the left side and gets out to the 30-yard line. Let's hustle back down to Charlene. Jeff had a good year, so did the Colts. Great turnaround for them this past season. And he, of course, part of that. Third down, two. Carter, the late pitch. Jasper got the corner. First down. Hawaii's got things going their way. Sims to the 45. Give him three more. Ten point game with Hawaii in front. Second down and seven. Illinois needs a turnover if they're going to get back in this thing. Carter. Got another yard. That Shelby in for Holosek. Third and five, Hawaii. Illinois needs a defensive stopper right here. Carter wants to throw. seconds to go in the ball game and now Illinois in some serious trouble it's all rainbows this half have any chance to win the football game he looks kick a good one Fagan has to backpedal to the corner at the goal line and only got to the 21 nice coverage first and 10 for the Illini now trailing by 17 points Produsco overshot his intended receiver. Verduzco has a look on second and ten. Jason will take off on his own, get what he can, and goes out of bounds. The back trying to get the ball back again. That's a long ways from now. It's third and two, Illinois. Fagan. Very close. Remember, they do not, do not have a deep ball threat. With all due respect to Klein and Wright, Fagan, a little screen pass, has to do most of it himself. That one was set up for in Michigan State. Just powdered him. Boy, they're trying to return the favor to the Big Ten here tonight. Deep middle, and he's got a man open. It's Klein. And Jim got it to midfield. Our set. Look at this one off quickly from the shotgun. Produsco in the flat. Nice open field hit on Boyer. Second down, seven. Throw the quick out to try to get the first down and get out of bounds. And Shane Fisher makes the grab. But two down territory here for Illinois. And they whistle this one dead. Trigger the play they the want to call. Receive third down. <laughs> I was finishing. Produsco <laughs> <laughs> completes it to Strong. 
His forward progress is going to have a first down for the Illini at the crossing pass. Once he takes a snap with the shotgun and then drops, he's way back there. Now he's going to take off on his own. Jason Perduska on the ball carrier. And his troops try to win the Thrifty Car Rentals 15th Holiday Bowl. Four wide outs for Perduska. And he gets the first down himself, but now the clock will run Perduska after they move the, the sticks. Carrier. Now it starts again as you heard the whistle. First down, Perduska looked to the end zone and now goes to the corner. Touchdown! The second hookup of the night. Purdue's going to right. And does. With 4.42 left. John Wright, you can see on a bad wheel, limping to the sideline, but he's given Illinois at least some new hope with 4.42 left. And the way these past holiday bowls have gone, keep in mind, I don't think he's going to do it. The way he's lined up in the middle of the field, I think he's going to kick long. You're right. High and sh short. And near the 30-yard line. If Hawaii can put a couple first downs together, though, it's not going to matter much. Here's Carter. He got four Carter to the 35. Michael Carter was a little shaken up on the last play for Hawaii. And he pitches... Jasper might have a first down. Let's see. Sims is over 100 yards, by the way, for the 10th time this year. And here he comes to the 47. Another chance, obviously, but it's going to maybe take a turnover or something by the defense to do that for him. Timeout. Travis Sims doesn't lose much yardage. He's lost five yards all season on all the carries he's had. He has two touchdowns tonight. And Carter keeps it. May have gotten it himself. Wow. First down, Hawaii. Three and a half to go. Sims got tagged at the 45. A collision. Hoagie's in the middle of that. So they're going to be playing in another two bowl game. Really a down year for the Big Ten. The Big Ten's been 4 1 and 1 in this bowl game, and that's about to become 4 2 and 1. Carter. He'll keep it again. And takes it to the 34 yard line. Another Hawaii first down. But the quarterback has been pulling off the plays with the option and the passes. 13 for 20 is good stats, and that'll move the first down. And that's really been the story. Remember, Fresno State knocks off USC. They powdered USC last night. And now Hawaii comes in. Five teams in bowl games. Carter. And Carter's got it down. But it's going to be pretty sweet in about one more play. Gary Danielson and I finish our first year together, and it's been fun, Gerald. Great. Let's do it again next year. 27-17. The WAC Champion Rainbows win the Thrifty Car Rental Holiday Bowl at four. Charlene Hawks and Gary Danielson. I'm Brad Nestle saying so long from San Diego. Let's take it to Sports Center.